The leopard is so cool that he can take down an animal twice as heavy as himself with one blow, and then also jump up a tree with the prey in his teeth. Now we will show you the most impressive cases when a leopard showed how effective the predator he is. The size and weight of a leopard is significantly inferior to lions and tigers, but the power of this spotted cat is just huge. These buffaloes believed that they were safe with their size and numerical advantage, but this was a big mistake. The leopard was not only swift, but also phenomenally powerful. He suddenly rushed to the calf and managed to overcome it with lightning speed, although the young bull is three times heavier than the spotted predator. The leopard broke his windpipe in seconds. A herd of bulls was nearby, but didn't have time to do anything about it. The nearest animals attacked the leopard, but he did not unclench his jaws even under a hail of blows and was able to escape from the encirclement after such a brazen raid. Neither the powerful horns, nor the sharp hooves, nor the sides of the giant saved the herbivore. And all thanks to the fact that the leopard, in addition to strength and agility, also has unique hunting skills. He accurately determines the weak points of the prey and the moment for the decisive throw. The cat acts ruthlessly and therefore as effectively as possible. She delivers a swift blow to the throat. No matter how muscular a bull's neck is, his trachea is a weak spot that can be crushed in a few minutes. It seems that the leopards study the anatomy of other animals because if the bite fell a few inches in any direction, the bull would absolutely not be able to block the oxygen. And so the ungulate desperately resists. The leopard has to strain all his strength to keep the grip of his fangs on his throat. But the bull turns into his hearty lunch, which the cat will last for a long time. Some animals rely on their own strength in battle, while others use the strength of their entire pack as a trump card. Baboons belong to the second category. They are dangerous, bloodthirsty, and strong, but the main thing is that baboons attack in a group. They strike numerous blows, and each primate has fangs that would be more suitable for a wolf than a monkey, probably. But if you think that this makes an impression on the leopard, then you are mistaken. This cold-blooded predator is able to repel the attack of a whole group of baboons and then to strike a sudden blow and pounce on one of the primates. They obviously did not expect such an impudent and at the same time fast attack. This stunned the baboons, so the leopard managed to strike a decisive blow and to deal with the target. A flock of primates is in shock. They are furious, but they can't really do anything. They lack the speed and agility to get to the leopard. The leopard usually uses only one hunting tactic, but he has perfected its execution to perfection. These are ambushes. The leopard hides in the bushes, on trees, less often in the grass. There he waits for the prey to come to his paws by itself. The cat has excellent eyesight. In addition, the leopard's eyes are positioned in such a way that it can accurately assess the depth and distance. Therefore, he knows exactly when the victim will be close enough to jump. The leopard puts all his strength into this throw. It looks scary, and at the same time, very cool. It seems that the cat turns into a blur and acts at a super, super speed. To fill up the prey, the leopard uses powerful blows with its paws. Sharp claws, which are retracted under normal circumstances, are curved, and therefore capture the target really well. Simultaneously with the blows of the paws, the leopard tries to reach the victim's throat with its jaws. It has rather long fangs, but the purpose of the leopard is not to bite through the arteries and veins of the victim, but to compress the trachea and throat of the prey. If it is not very large, strong pressure simply breaks the trachea. It is easy to make a conclusion about the abilities of this hunter. 
He is betting on a quick strike, not on endurance. The leopard is not able to chase the victim for a long time, unlike, for example, wolves. They use the opposite hunting tactics and rely on a long pursuit instead of a single lightning strike. But if you think that the endurance of a leopard is zero, then you are mistaken. This game turned out to be quite large. Simply crushing the windpipe of a boar will not work. His neck is too strong. But the ungulate underestimated the leopard. If the prey is much larger than the hunter himself, then he slowly strangles it in a few minutes of struggle. At the same time, the leopard has to constantly fight with an animal that is trying to escape and is desperately fighting for its life. The leopard's impressive fighting qualities deserve your life, don't they? The leopard is not capable of chasing a victim for many miles or many kilometers, but this does not mean that the spotted predator gives up its first strike does not reach the target. The herbivore relaxed too soon. Perhaps when the leopard missed, it was already celebrating victory. In vain, the leopard turned out to be tougher than one might have thought. He accumulated all his strength for several impressive jumps and was able to catch up with the prey. The chase is really short, but impressive. The leopard, like many other cats, has a very interesting way of running. The leopard moves in leaps and bounds, and only two paws touch the ground at the same time. The predator moves at lightning speed due to not only the strength of the limbs, but also a very flexible spine. Together with an excellent reaction and the ability to perfectly concentrate on the movements of prey, this allows the leopard to develop amazing maneuverability. In one leap, a leopard can cover a distance twice the length of its own body. If a person could run just like that, then there would simply be no need for transport in the city. You could literally run to your work in a few minutes. A rare recording that shows how a leopard coped with its fiercest competition is the hyena. This hyena doesn't just seem to have underestimated the leopard. She doesn't understand what was going on at all. The spotted cat is so cool that she dragged the hyena to the very top of the tree crown, although the victim is still alive and resisting. She hopes to get out, but the leopard's ruthlessness is legendary. The hyena cannot escape from his powerful grip. The leopard could have let her go on purpose to throw her from the height of the third floor and break the limbs of its stubborn prey, but then you'll have to go down again, grab her, climb again. It's a lot of hassle. Therefore, the leopard simply ignores the hyena's resistance, rises higher with it, and finally finishes it there. Can you imagine just how strong a creature you have to be to defeat a hyena and then climb to the top of the tree with her in your teeth, even despite her desperate resistance? It seems to me that the leopard is not even particularly tired at the same time. The incredible agility of the leopard allows him not only to make lightning fast throws, but also to jump very high. This bird was sure that if it had to retreat, then the usual tactics would not let it down. Just take off and that's it, you're safe out of reach of the predator's claws. The eagle underestimated the leopard. The cat managed to get close enough to the bird, then jumped up and caught the eagle with its claws. Thanks to the swiftness, the leopard did not have to jump particularly high. He reached the bird when she barely managed to climb on the wing. Although the feathered predator is an excellent fighter himself, he could not resist the leopard. Leopards like to climb trees. There they arrange lairs and also store prey. This is convenient because there are many competitors on Earth, for example hyenas. These robbers not only look for carrion and hunt prey on their own, but also constantly try to recapture a legitimate dinner from the owner. But the hyena underestimated the agility of the spotted cat. This time it's the opposite, now she's been robbed. The leopard approaches the hyena and strikes her several times. 
She still manages to take a piece of lunch for herself, run away from the enemy. But when the hyena returns to continue the rivalry, the leopard is already carrying off its prey. Although it is almost as heavy as the leopard itself, it is strong enough to jump up a tree with a victim in its teeth. Moreover, the leopard managed to do this quickly enough to avoid an unwanted close acquaintance with the hyena's jaws. The black panther is a case of mutation, due to which the color of the predatory large cat becomes much darker than the usual ones of its species. That is, it is not a different species, but simply predatory cats which outwardly differ from its relatives. Interestingly enough, black panthers are born in two species that are thousands of miles or thousands of kilometers apart. Leopards that live in Africa and Asia, as well as jaguars that live in South America. Although these cats may seem similar because of their spotted color, in fact they are not very similar to each other at all. The jaguar is much larger, it also differs in physique, and there are black dots inside its spots. The leopard is smaller, tighter, more elegant, and its spots look like rings or solid black dots. The black leopard is no anatomically different from the usual one. There is an opinion that they can become more aggressive, but it's not confirmed by facts and research. And they can also look a little bit different. There are individuals whose skin is really almost black. And there are leopards whose fur is dark brown, and then black spots will stand out perfectly against its background. In any case, the unusual color does not prevent either leopards or jaguars from disguising themselves in the jungle. Maybe it even helps. Therefore, if white tigers and lions hardly survive in nature due to difficulties with laying to the victim, then black spotted cats, on the contrary, are successful predators. When the black panther goes out to fight, it looks epic, as if a piece of the night got claws and fangs. This leopard underestimated the aggression of a black relative who came to drive him away from his territory. The Black Panther was so brave that he decided to arrange a fight right in the crown of a tree at a very great height. A large adult hyena is larger than a teenage leopard. When a pair of spotted predators wanted to take away her food, the hyena decided not to run away and not defend herself but to attack and eat the leopard. This was a mistake. Although the young cat is inferior to the mother hyena in size, its strength should not have been underestimated. The leopard repulsed the aggressor with powerful blows of its paws and alone coped with her attack. Meanwhile, the second leopard stole the food. The teamwork is 100% effective. And this is despite the fact that after having finally matured, leopards usually live independently and do not unite in groups. Maybe in vain. If the leopard played role-playing games, he would probably choose his characters assassins or ninjas. And it's not just a phenomenal talent to disappear from under the noses of enemies. It's about pragmatism. While the lion goes into a frontal attack on the opponent, wolves fight in whole packs and tigers attack bears. The leopards avoid wasting energy. He's not lazy. Just why bother when it's not necessary? Therefore, if a competitor tries to take away prey, and there are no trees nearby, the leopard may well throw lunch and run away so as not to fight. But this is not cowardice, but calculation. Don't you believe it? This hyena also thought that the leopard would run away. She underestimated the enemy and made a fatal mistake. Without the cover of a dozen more relatives, the hyena itself is a tasty prey for this pragmatic assassin from the world of wildlife. It doesn't even look like a fight. Against a cruel and strong leopard, one hyena is simply helpless. The main trump card of the leopard is his ability and agility combined with an incredible ability to sneak up. These impalas felt safe. And you can understand them. They can run so fast that only a cheetah can catch up with them, and then with great difficulty and with all the effort. And in terms of maneuverability, they have no equal among mammals at all. 
The Impala is able to turn 180 degrees on the run with almost no loss of speed, jump over the pursuer, dodge the claws of a predator for a fraction of a second before impact. Impala eyes, like many ungulates, are located on the side of the head for better coverage. The field of view of this ungulate is much better than that of most animals. This feature allows you to notice the threat in advance, even if it creeps up from the back. You could literally see what's behind your shoulder blade if you had such an eyesight. But you know what? The leopard doesn't care about all these advantages. The impala just didn't know who was hiding in these thickets. If the leopard is within striking distance, the impala's speed no longer matters. How did he manage to sneak up so close if the impala sees what is behind her back? Disguising a leopard is almost an art. He becomes almost invisible thanks to his spotted skin and, most importantly, the ability to freeze with his whole body and not move for a very long time. And when the leopard is already close enough, a single jump, and he breaks the impala's spine or wrings his neck with one crushing jerk. The leopard is a master of ambushes. But what happens if someone tries to sneak up on him? This lion saw a competitor who decided to get a nap. The lion is about three times more massive and much stronger, so if he catches a leopard, he can deal with it within a few minutes. So now the lion's task is to sneak up on the spotted competitor unnoticed. A step, another step, then another, and now the leopard is within striking distance. Are you worried about him, or do you wish good luck to the Leo? Who are you rooting for in this case? It seems that in a second, the King of Beasts will be celebrating victory, but at the very last moment, the leopard wakes up, and now the sharp, powerful claws of the leopard are already flying into the lion's eyes. He doesn't want a long fight. A lightning-fast, furious rebuff to knock down the attacking rush of the enemy into the leopard is already fleeing. His life was hanging by a thread, but excellent reflexes and a bit of luck saved the leopard. The lion just didn't know who he was messing with. Even during sleep, the leopard remains vigilant. A whole column of people in cars impresses any predator. Even a pack of hyenas is afraid to approach a large cluster of two-legged loud creatures that could also be armed. Wild animals know that you need to be afraid of loud cars, guns, and people who deal with all of this. Therefore, a noisy and numerous team of people was not afraid of anyone, just like their pets. It turned out in vain. The usual composure and pragmatism that is adherent in lepers completely denies them when it comes to dogs. For some mysterious reason, spotted cats fiercely hate dogs and try to deal with them at every opportunity. Neither hyenas nor lions dared to attack a group of people, although they clearly had a lot of food that could be taken away. The leopard has dared more than once. The camera lens often shows cases when a leopard risks himself and enters cities, enters a yard, or even a residential building to track down and grab a dog. Moreover, large individuals do not frighten him, but only tease him. During such outings, the leopard pursues only one goal, to deal with the dog that allowed itself to enter the territory of a predator because it thought that people would protect it. The leopard does not care about the danger so much that he is able to attack the dog right under the feet of armed people or under the door of their home. In order to sneak up unnoticed, the leopard in such cases has to use all his skills. But it looks epic. The leopard seems to appear out of nowhere, as if he had opened some kind of portal, and immediately rushes into battle to have time to strangle the dog before people even realize what happened. Surprisingly, this is not a strange habit of one individual, but the behavior of virtually the entire species. 
Such episodes of brazen and desperate attacks on dogs are found from time to time throughout the habitat of leopards. Sometimes the spotted cat manages to cope with the enemy, sometimes the dog is successfully rescued, but in any case, the leopard has a hard time. To get into the environment, to give yourself away, to cause fear and anger among a lot of armed people is a so-so plan. Regardless of whether the attack on the dog was successful, saving your own skin after that is still a task. But as you can see, the leopard is willing to take any risk. What do you think this is related to? Let us know in the comments. Maybe you have the answer to the riddle. This rare shooting is a spectacle as epic and frightening as it is beautiful. Leopards lead a solitary lifestyle and are usually happy to meet a relative only during the breeding season. But the boundaries of the territory still need to be established. Sometimes you have to use force to do this. This leopard decided that he could tear off a piece of his kinsman's hunting grounds and appropriate them for himself, but he underestimated the opponent. The other leopard turned out to be no less agile, large, and most importantly, fierce. The confrontation of these cats is especially impressive because you understand, this is not all graphics and not staging, but the real life of wild animals that show phenomenal strength in the struggle for survival. In a fight with each other, the leopard is able to show the whole arsenal of the coolest techniques. First of all, he uses powerful paw strikes. The leopard swoops down on the opponent and tries to overwhelm him, to subdue him. The blow turns into a fight. Each cat tries to avoid the bite of the enemy and at the same time, to reach the enemy with its own fangs. Predators understand each other's strength so they try to act on this in a big way. They push each other off the slope, try to throw them into the thicket. In general, they do everything to gain an advantage, at least for one second. Then the leopard will be able to take advantage of the situation and defeat the enemy. If the battle turns into a close distance, leopards use not only their forelegs, but also their hind legs. They are a bit like domestic cats who arrange their fights. Thus, just leopards are several dozens times more massive, and every blow from a wild predator's paw leaves traces on the metal. It seems that these cats are real masters of martial arts. They move so fast that it is difficult to follow their movements. But when slowing down, real fighting techniques and feints become noticeable. It's like the leopards watched old movies with Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee and then decided to bring the coolest scenes into life. Just look at how the leopard jumps on the opponent to hit him with all four limbs at once. Having thrown off the enemy, he rushes at him again, but is already trying to reach him with his fangs. But the second cat does not remain in debt. It throws the aggressor through itself. Just like according to the textbook, you capture, roll in yourself, and a powerful push so that nobody flew over its back. What a reception. Interestingly enough, in a fight with a relative, the leopard demonstrates restraint and nobility. The exchange of blows ends with the cats stopping and dispersing. Then they come together again for a fight, but at the same time, they do not try to pounce on the opponent's back and grab at the throat. Pay attention, although leopards fight desperately, they do not use fighting techniques and do not even aim at each other's eyes. Yeah, they will fight for territory, but it seems that there are boundaries that these predators try not to cross, even in the fight with rivals. As a result, despite the fact that the leopards are fighting in full force, they are alive after the opponent's duel. Moreover, they even manage to avoid serious injuries. Worthy of respect, don't you agree? In the wild, there is serious competition between different types of cats. They compete with each other for food. Although each species has its own preferences in choosing prey, the menu of large predators is at least a little but the same. Lions are the most aggressive to rivals, but leopards do not miss an opportunity to drive a predator of another species from their territory, or even eat it. This leads to very dramatic events. For example, you can see what will happen if the lioness discovers the lair of leopards. While the mother hunts to bring food to the kittens, 
the babies are defenseless. They can only freeze in the hope that their camouflage color will save them. Unfortunately, it didn't help. The lioness found them. For them, leopard kittens are not relatives, but lunch. But if you think that a spotted predator remains in debt to such aggressors, then you don't really know the character at all. In general, the desire for revenge is considered a very complex emotion. In order to feel something like this, you need to be well aware of the cause and effect relationships and understand the emotional damage that can be inflicted on the enemy. So many scientists are unlikely to agree that the leopard is capable of deliberate revenge. What do you think? After all, we don't know what the cat feels, but we do know the consequences of her actions. She is purposefully looking for a den of lions, and this despite the fact that the leopard is seriously at risk. Unlike her, lionesses live in groups and take care not only of their own babies, but also of the kittens of their sisters and cousins. Even if the mother is not near the cubs, chances are high that there will be other females there. But that doesn't stop the leopard. He finds the lion cubs and does with them the same thing that the lioness did with the leopard babies. Such is the vendetta. Two spotted African big cats, the cheetah and leopard, often feud. Although their coloring is similar, when these animals are standing next to each other, it is simply impossible to confuse them. The cheetah is a much slimmer and leaner animal. Relative to the size of the body, it has a small head and long paws. The spots are solid. Two solid black stripes run from the eyes to the mouth. An adult leopard is much larger. It has a powerful neck, larger jaws. The paws are shorter relative to the body, but stronger, and the spots have the appearance of empty sockets. Besides, these cats aren't even close relatives. The leopard refers to panthers, that is, to large cats. Its closest relatives are the lion, tiger, jaguar, and snow leopard. The cheetah, although slightly inferior to the leopard in body's length, belongs to small cats, and its closest relative is, oddly enough, the American cougar. Cheetah is the fastest runner on the planet, which reaches a speed of about 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour. He sneaks up on his victim and then begins a short chase. Although the cheetah is not able to run for long at the peak of its capabilities, it manages to cover quite a long distance. It usually hunts in an open area where it is most convenient to run. The cheetah does not climb trees since its claws, for the sake of better grip at the ground, are retracted much worse than those of other cats. The leopard prefers ambushes and rarely chases prey. He relies on agility and strength, where the cheetah relies on speed. Therefore, in addition to differences in their favorite habitats, these cats also differ in taste preferences. Cheetahs hunt relatively small and fast ungulates, especially in pallets. Although a cheetah can defeat a zebra or wildebeest, it is much more difficult to hunt such strong rivals. Leopards can hunt not only zebras, but also buffaloes. However, such a predator will be able to catch an impala only on condition that the first jump will be crowned with success. It seems that such different predators should not compete with each other. But in fact, they still intersect. And then a real competitive struggle can begin, against which the confrontation between Apple and Android will seem like a dispute in the sandbox. The leopard is waiting for the cheetah to do the same with him as the impala. Who are you rooting for? Do you hope that the cheetah will have time to dodge, or do you wish good luck to the leopard? One step, one more. The cheetah is unaware of the danger. Just a little more, and the leopard will pounce on its enemy. But the cheetah at the last moment manages to notice a larger cat and breaks into a run with lightning speed. The leopard realized that he was noticed and rushes in pursuit. His claws are about to hook and overwhelm the cheetah, but no. The fastest mammal on the planet justifies its chidal and escapes from the threat. As you understand, such cases are not uncommon. Therefore, it is not surprising that cheetahs are trying to deal with the young leopards at the first opportunity. So to speak, they work for the future. 
After all, while the leopard is young and small, it will still be possible to cope with it. If he grows up, then not anymore. The victim and the stalker switched places. Only the cheetah underestimated the agility of the young leopard. He managed to turn right on the run in such a way that the faster predator flew past. The pursuit continued, but we know the ideal rescue option for a young leopard is to find a tree. In its crown, the cheetah will not be able to catch the enemy. Leopards are well-known loners, whereas cheetahs in recent decades have increasingly begun to unite into small groups and clans. What happens if one leopard meets two cheetahs on a narrow path? Something unexpected. You see how the leopard noticed that he was surrounded and immediately falls on his back. When two dogs compete, the weaker one lies down and shows the strong one his stomach. He gives up. But if you think that a leopard shows with a similar gesture that it obeys cheetahs, then you really underestimate this cruel and strong predator. In fact, lying on your back is a panther tactic in a battle with numerically superior enemy forces. Thus, the leopard is ready to fight off one cheetah with its front paws and to the second with its hind paws. He is taking a risk because his stomach is really in a vulnerable position, but the cheetahs did not dare to attack. To run into the sharp, crescent-shaped claws of a leopard, how to get hit by dozens of daggers at the same time. Here, two cheetahs tracked down by a leopard. But they underestimated who they got in touch with. This is not a teenager, but an adult and experienced male. When the two cheetahs approached him, he showed no fear and continued calmly going about his business. The cheetahs clearly do not understand what is happening and are trying to come at him from both sides to attack. Well, it's your fault. The leopard turned around and was the first to go into battle against two cheetahs at once. That's when they realized what kind of trouble they were in. Only super speed saved them from a serious beating. There is another quality of the leopard that should not be underestimated. This is prudence. Here the leopard is attacked by a female cheetah. Actually, these are already adult animals, and the leopard has an advantage in pure physical strength. But he knows there is a cheetah's lair nearby where the kittens are. The leopard understands with what fury the female will fight for them and for her territory, so he retreats without a fight. A wise move. After all, even if the leopard had won, the unpredictable female would certainly have managed to injure him. Underestimate the cunning of the leopard is also not worth it. It turns out that this predator is capable of real multi-way plans. Look at him sneaking up on a herd of African buffaloes. The weight of individual mature males of these ungulates can reach a ton. The leopard is about 12 times lighter. The predator has almost no chance to cope with the horned aggressive giants, and even when there are so many of them. Suddenly you notice a lion in the background. Do you think it's an accident? Or that the lion came to fight with its spotted cousin? No. In fact, it is just the lions that can cope with buffaloes. They cause panic in the herd and begin an epic chase. This is one of the few cases when males take an active part in hunting. Usually lionesses are engaged in foraging as males have a large mane which prevents them from disguising themselves. But against giants like buffaloes or rhinos, their enormous strength is needed. And when the lion is noticed, it only plays into the pride's hands. So panic among the ungulates will begin faster. The predator's plan works, the buffaloes break forward, and the pursuit begins. The lions choose a weak individual to fight it off from the rest. But that's a completely different story. We are interested in what the leopard is doing in all this farce. It turned out that he took advantage of the situation to his advantage. The panic in the herd of buffaloes led to the fact that the young calf flagged behind his parents and decided to hide in the bushes. The lions didn't notice him there and got carried away hunting, but the leopard seemed to be deliberately looking for such a victim. In the dense thickets, he attacked a young bull and managed to bring him down and then into to get to the throat. 
That's how the leopard practically used the lions to his advantage and was able to catch a calf that he would never have gotten to if he had been guarded by other bulls. How do you like such a multipass? When a whole group of adult bulls walks through the forest, they feel quite confident there. There are too many of them for a lone predator to dare to attack, and thickets from different sides will not allow hyenas or lions to surround a group of herbivores. Well, their confidence in their abilities was superfluous. They obviously didn't know who lived in the forest. The leopard is so brave that he can dare to attack a whole group of buffaloes. Each of the horned beasts far surpasses the leopard in strength and mass. However, they are all the more dangerous for a spotted predator, but he's attacking anyway. It looks like he has an adrenaline addiction. And although the buffaloes are escaping this time, sooner or later, the leopard will have time to strangle one of the ungulates, so they should change the route. When the whole pride goes hunting, almost no one can resist them. A dozen lionesses pose a real threat to an adult elephant or hippo. Here you can see how a dozen lionesses discovered a leopard's lair in the thickets on their territory. They decided that they could quickly deal with a competitor with such a huge numerical advantage. While wow, they clearly underestimated the enemy. The leopard refused to give up. He used his favorite defensive tactic. He lay on his back to defend himself with all four paws. Of course, the jaws of the lionesses and their powerful blows were very dangerous, and the leopard is wounded. But he shows no signs of fatigue. It seems that with each injury, he fights back only more fiercely. The tactics of lionesses are simple and effective. Pounce from different sides, stretch the leopard by the limbs, and get to his stomach. But the leopard won't let them do it. He keeps his nerve and fights back very effectively. Each of his blows reaches the goal, and the spotted predator is aiming directly at the aggressive lioness's muzzle. This makes her cool down. They just don't know what to do with it, because every approach to the leopard threatens the lioness to lose her eyes. On the other hand, the leopard can't escape either. As soon as he gets up, the lionesses will attack him from behind, pounce from the side and overwhelm him, and then finish him off. A desperate situation? Unfortunately, yes, she has a sad end. The lioness waited until the leopard ran out of strength and dealt with him. But no one expected such desperate resistance. There is hardly a predator who would give such a worthy fight to a dozen of predators. A sad story. But this is not how every meeting of a leopard with a pride of lions ends. Something similar happened here. One leopard was surrounded. Moreover, there is a male among the lions, and against this giant with combat experience, the leopard has no chance. However, lions do not show too much aggression. The leopard rebuffed the lioness in the same way, lay down, and put all four paws against her. This cooled her ardor. The leopard was able to seize the moment and escaped. Not only did he save his life, but he also escaped any injuries. Probably no one wanted to mess with such a fierce opponent. And what do you think? Was the leopard able to escape thanks to its own fighting qualities, or did the lion just let it go? Share your version in the comments. Perhaps the lion just didn't want to get involved, because the leopard couldn't claim their territory. And to fight with him is guaranteed to get a lot of pain. Here, the leopard was also surrounded by the pride, and this time it was taken seriously. The female surrounded the leopard and did not allow him to escape. The male approached from the flank and attacked the spotted predator like a live battering ram, grabbed, and began to inflict terrible blows and bites. That's just the leopard did not give up, but dug into the enemy with all his paws at once. The lion is just shocked by such pressure. He pulled his own muzzle out of the tight grip with a clear reluctance to fall into the claws of the leopard again. Although the spotted cat received several heavy blows, he was able to escape. There was even a rare shot when a leopard was able to fight back against a male lion. Of course, the spotted cat had to run away, but because the lion was too close to him, the leopard had to turn around and counter-attack. Several retaliatory blows, 
although they did not cause serious damage to the lion, were able to force him to stop, which gave the leopard a couple of seconds to disperse and escape. Few predators like action as much as the leopard. Wild animals constantly face challenges and demonstrate strength, but this spotted predator seems to just enjoy the ride of it all. Two cheetahs caught an antelope. Both are adult and strong predators. But the leopard was not afraid of their numerical advantage and decided to recapture the legitimate prey. This is risky. Cheetahs often avoid fights because if their limbs are injured, they will lose the opportunity to chase their prey at their exorbitant speeds. But if two cheetahs grapple with one leopard, the outcome of such a fight is pretty unpredictable. However, here the strength of character is clearly on the side of our hero. The cheetahs are retreating. That's just not the end of our story. It turned out that a lioness was watching this whole situation. A leopard takes its prey up a tree when a larger cat starts chasing it. But the lioness is definitely not afraid of a fight. If her sister is injured, she will be covered and fed until she recovers. The leopard clearly does not like the situation. He has just robbed two competitors, as now he is being robbed himself. Moreover, the lioness, unlike the heavier male, is elegant enough to climb trees and continue the chase already there. Unpleasant, but not hopeless. A leopard, right with an impala in its teeth, jumps even higher. It seems that he opposes not only the lioness, but also gravity. The spotted hero barely holds on to the thinnest branches. It's amazing that they can withstand its weight, especially with an impala. The lioness is no longer able to climb so high. She is also at risk. It is dangerous for her to fall from the height of the third floor. In the end, the leopard was the winner. Has the leopard surprised you yet? Well, get ready, because now you will be in real shock from the exploits of this wild cat. The fact is that he is capable of something that even lions avoid. Intrigued? So, a leopard can one-on-one -on -one cope with the most formidable creature in Africa, a honey badger. This miniature scumbag is known for the fact that compared to his level of aggression, even hyenas seem polite and meek creatures. The honey badger is not afraid of anyone at all. He boldly attacks several lions at once, takes prey from hyenas, and when a huge python the length of a minivan made a stupid mistake and attacked the honey badger, the beast not only dealt with the reptile, but also broke into the jackal, who came to the sounds of the fight and thought he was going to eat the loser. In addition to uncontrollable rage and aggression, the honey badger's trump cards are some anatomical features. He has an incredibly high pain threshold, and the skin easily moves away from the muscles. Therefore, when a larger predator presses the honey badger to the ground with its claws, the baby easily dodges and counterattacks. Sharp needle teeth and powerful paws with which the beast tears up huge anthills help him fight off even predators 20 times heavier than himself. And the leopard is one of the few predators that can defeat the honey badger without a numerical advantage. The honey badger clearly underestimated the enemy and decided that another overgrown self-confident cat was against him. But it would obviously be better if he hid in some narrow hole. It's harder to resist this leopard than against a pair of adult lions. The predator does not use any tricks or special tactics. The leopard simply opposes its agility and patience to the resourcefulness and fury of the honey badger. Our spotted cat cannot run long distances but it is capable of fighting for quite a long time. A leopard is not sorry to spend his time on such a delicious lunch as a honey badger. The cat will grab the dodgy beast with its paws again and again, seize the initiative in battle, look for weak points of defense, dodge painful bites, and aim with its claws at the stomach, and with its fangs at the throat into the back of the neck. Not in every duel with the honey badger, a leopard comes up victorious, and sometimes he has to let go of a too stubborn opponent. But still, there are cases when a spotted cat celebrates victory over the fiercest predator in Africa, more often than any other panther. Which case of the unexpected demonstration of the leopard's strength surprised you the most?